Why is it that some men become so obsessed about cars and trucks and vehicles? Why is that? Good question. Very uh, good that's question. a little harsh, isn't it? Obsessed? No, yeah. I don't think that's too harsh. Um, I'm trying to justify it. That's why. Totally true. I agree. Obsessed. What is it? Why? I'm at a loss for words. I, I, I mean, for example, I feel violated. You, are you going to give me shit later in the day? Probably. <laughs> if I say, oh yeah, I hear it. Because you're you're referring to me looking at like bring a trailer. I'm referring to you looking at everything, and I'm referring to you being as obsessed as my grandfather was with just the 1961 Corvair, which I know he was like this with all of his vehicles. He kept every single piece of paper and receipt oh, nice. and anything related to that car. And you have it, and you were looking at it the other day. It's good. It's I, a good read. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I think that it's some, there's something visceral about doing something with your hands, touching something with your hands, driving, working on a car. I mean, even coming down to like getting on your phone and looking up something because you have to find some information that you're seeking about that particular car or particular genre of car that you like. Uh, it could be something that started from when you were a child. Like I remember as easy or as early as like, you know, maybe six or seven where my grandmother worked at a belt buckle factory and she brought home a Porsche belt buckle and she gave it to me and had a Porsche t-shirt that she had just got. And I'm like, that is the coolest thing ever. And, and my uncle had a fast, you know, I think it was a Ford Capri. I think it was bad, dude. Oh, nice. Yellow one. And I was like, man, this is cool. There, there's something that happens like uh, with the engine sound, the vibration, the noise, the speed. I think the, all those things kind of play into your sensory kind of like... Mm. Smells. Yeah. And experience and, overall. Uh, yeah. It's, it, it's the my biggest case, because I could say this because I own an electric vehicle, is that this is why the EVs, when I drive an EV, I don't look at it as a car. It's just a means to get from point A to point B without spending any money on gas. And since you live in California, I don't want to spend money on expensive gas or whatever. Anyway. It's a vacuum cleaner. It's a vacuum cleaner, like point. Dan's Corolla, you know? <laughs> but but when it comes to something like visceral like that, I don't think there's anything that can match that. This is why I could understand Helm liking the old Benzes and the diesel, because it's very unique. It's unique to that car, that engine, that, you know, whatever. Uh, I think that's why, even though I may never go racing again, I still want to build the race car because I like the sound that it gave me when I went racing when I was a kid or went street racing when I was a kid or whatever. It reminds me of certain things. So that, at least that's what I think that's why we're obsessed with those things. And, and like, I think know. it's passed down. I will say my love of automobiles was from my dad and my grandfather. And it's passed down. So I think as a, as a kid... You see them driving these cool cars, hear them talking about them, working on them, and then you kind of want to copy them. Yeah. And you go, eh, this, is, this is kind of fun. And I think that's where I got some of it. Um, and I enjoy the part of working on a car and then getting it and taking it around the block. Yeah. I agree. For, I mean, for me, I'm just going to be honest, Hot Wheels. I still collect oh, to the, today. Mm -hmm. Till today, I still collect Hot Wheels. But it's because I used to, I'm a latchkey kid. So, you know, my, when my mom's working at the hospital till uh, early wee morning, you know, I would find myself always with a Hot Wheel, you know. And did I have a Hot Wheel that was a station wagon back then? No, but I think it was that idea of just like, this is a toy, it's collectible, played with it, and then gradually kind of had a love for the automobile so um i think that's where my inspiration you still play with uh, your uh, no i usually just you know Look showcase them yeah. exactly <laughs> but hey you know i have some that are out of the box you know and um and i'll carry actually i have a, a you carry you know, hot wheels in your pocket to the car shows car shows i'll put on the dash sure. you know my, my wagon you know exact year um but you're not I think at it's... starbucks like playing <laughs> <laughs> no 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 <laughs> Okay. No, but but I I would say it's Hot Wheels, you know. Hot yeah, Wheels was a, a, a that toy from the yeah. '60s that still you know resonates with me today. Well, there's definitely a lot of guys that do that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thing, so. Well, That's I remember huge. one of the uh, I remember as a kid playing with the old slot tracks. Oh yeah. You know, they had, the ones that fit together? Yeah. Yeah, my brothers had yeah. those. And you sit there like this, and yeah. it zips around the yeah. track. Yeah. And I always remember wanting to drive the Austin Healey one. They had an Austin Healey and a Corvette that came in the kit. And I always wanted the Austin Healey. I just thought, oh, that's so cool. Um, I don't know what was I was. I mean, I was probably five, six years old. 
So Sad. that would make sense. I remember those two and you talking about the Hot Wheels because I had two younger brothers and I would get the, you know, the doll for Christmas or the games or whatever, things that I really enjoyed. But then after time, I remember lying on the living room rug with the tracks that you're talking about and look playing with, they'd gotten tired and they were mm-hmm. out playing ball in the street or something and playing with those cars and just the, and the colors and the shapes of the different cars I found Cool. Yeah. cool and fun. Yeah. So yeah. Maybe that's yeah. where your steering wheel fetish, fetish came, came from. from. Maybe mm. it is. I think it's more of, as a child, that's the last place you're supposed to be, is having your hands on a steering wheel. And there was part of me going, I need my hands on a steering wheel. 